Hello, good evening. My name is Councillor Jennifer Wilson Mark Blue. I'm Cabinet Member for Public Realm, and I'm going to be taking the final decision this evening. Uh, please note this meeting will be recorded for broadcast on the internet this afternoon meeting is taking place and can be viewed online at the Council's YouTube website. Generally, the public gallery is not filmed, but by entering the meeting room and using the public seating area, you are consenting to being filmed. All recordings will be undertaken in accordance with the Council's standards. In addition to myself and any other councillors who have decided to join the meeting, which is none, um, we have a number of senior officers joining us this evening, together with legal services um, and democratic service colleagues um, are also in attendance, either online or at civic. Um, can I ask anyone who has joined us online to switch off their microphone and camera when not speaking, please? But there is no one online, so... Um, the supply of papers for this meeting is available on the modern.gov pages of the Council's website. I have not received notification of any members of the public having registered to speak. Is that correct? I have not received notification of any members of the public. Hang on, I said that. I've not been advised in advance that any councillors have registered to speak, and as none are here, I suspect they don't want to speak. So that's good. Um, can I remember any members of the public that contributions should not exceed three minutes, but no one wants to speak, so. Okay, the decision sheet will be published on the modern.gov pages of the council's website, no later than Friday the 21st of June, 2024. I will now take my item. This item is around protecting weekly bin collections. In Milton Keynes, we pride ourselves on our recycling and waste services. We've had a very successful rollout of the wheelie bins, which mean our recycling rates have, have done really impressive things and we're incredibly proud. We've got lots of things in the works to continue that and to increase our recycling rates and to make it easier for residents in Milton to live sustainable lives. But one thing we are passionate about is making sure that recycling works for everyone. And one of the things we get a lot of feedback about is that people like having weekly bin collections. And this decision is around ensuring that those refuse collections, the bin collections are protected to be weekly until at least May 2026. This is part of the commitment within the council's delivery plan and is one of the commitments we have in the 100 day action plan. Uh, we felt there was a need for clarity as certain um there was some information being shared in the public domain that suggested we would not be looking at weekly bin collections we wanted to make sure it was absolutely clear that is not the case and we are completely committed to weekly bin collections um we do now have a councillor in the room do any councillors wish to speak I would like to speak very quickly and um, so, uh, apologies for being two minutes late. So I was just uh, uh, rather interested in meeting. Um, do we have, sorry, do we have a microphone or do we not need to? Yeah, would you like a microphone? Unless you think I need it. I think the camera will be picking it up pretty much. I think we can hear me from. Okay. And I'm sure the camera will pick it up as well. Uh, firstly, um, thank you for bringing this item forward. Uh, I think it's very helpful. It's clearly, um, bent the rules or, or, or flex the rules on the way that uh, items should be walked through which i hope isn't going to happen uh, many more times this year um and it uh but it does bring some clarity and i'm glad the um the pressure that conservative group brought to the election has has um forced uh, this clarification from the council however what you said is you're only protecting this for two years one year had already been agreed because it was in the leader's letter to council taxpayers, and now it's said two. Therefore, I would urge you to change that to four, to extend it to the end of the current five-year contract that we have. That way you do provide um, confidence to representatives, to, to, to members of you, just put to the members of the public that you were just talking about. And that is what I would urge you to do. That would provide that. It's absolutely clear. What we said uh, in the election period was the council had plans. That's it clear they did, because they were presented to scrutiny uh, for views and the way that changed. Now, you brought this forward to clarify the situation, so clarify it, please, for the 
four years that is remaining on the waste contract. And that really would provide people with some clarity, to be fair. And no one's going to ask you to go beyond that because when the waste contract is renegotiated or changed, anything can happen. So we're not going to tie your hands to that point. But please provide that confidence at that point. Thank you. For clarity, at no point were there ever any plans to move away from a weekly bin collection. All, all there was was a scrutiny paper which highlighted that that was something that could be explored further. It is deeply misleading and very frustrating to have used something that was given to councillors and members in a scrutiny meeting for information as a campaigning tactic and completely misrepresenting the role of scrutiny and what that paper said. Um, thank you very much for your input. Um, uh, Nick, do you have anything you would like to add? Not this stage, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm happy to take this decision. Fantastic. Thank you very much.